I wonder which hotspot miner is the best one. Shut up! How could I be so silly? Of course I know which miner is the best. What's going on everybody? It's Chris with Committed 3D Tech and yes, we are finally going to review which helium miner is the best one. As most of you know, I was one of the first YouTubers to actually review the Helium Network. And out of all of them, I have come to find that the Bobcat 300 Miner has been the best bang for your buck from quality to manufacturing to distribution. It really just is a great deal. And so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all of it. I'm gonna show you the videos of me unboxing it. And I'm basically just gonna give you my two cents on why I feel like it is the best miner of all of the helium miners. For those of you who are new to the channel, we review everything from crypto to tech to investing platforms. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. I do have lots of great things that I'm gonna be reviewing. The guys down at Bill Foddle gave me not only the single one, but they also gave me the multi shard. So I'm gonna be reviewing that. We're gonna be putting them through the ringer and we're gonna be talking about why cold storage and keeping your keys protected is important. I also did get the Coinbase card and the BitPay card. We're gonna be reviewing those as well as the Fold card and lots of other things as well. So make sure you turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get notified anytime I come out with a new video, especially because the next video I'm coming out with is gonna be reviewing my time with a whale pass at the Bitcoin conference 2021. Stay tuned for that. And with all that out of the way, if you haven't already smashed the like button for me and let's get to the video. So let's start by talking about the hardware because the Bobcat definitely holds its own. When I first got the miner, I did want to see how it performed, of course. And so the best thing about it, in my personal opinion, is out of the box, it comes with a 4 dBi antenna, which means it's going to have a larger reach. Now it is an Omni antenna, which if you don't know much about the directional patterns of antennas, that's probably something important to know. Your location, all of those things are gonna be important when it comes to maximizing your rewards from the helium miner. But Bobcat comes with this awesome antenna right out of the box, and it outperformed all of my other hotspots until I upgraded to a new antenna for one of my OG hotspots, which I'll be making a video on that in the near future. So as you can see here, uh, it has a quad core processor, the four DBI antenna, it has 64 gigabytes of storage, and then typical to all other Helium hotspots, it has the over the air updates and it's low power. Something pretty cool about these Helium hotspots is a lot of people have been doing power over ethernet or PoE to power their miners, which is pretty cool. This quad core processor is crazy because my college laptop that I had 10 years ago was a core two duo. It was like a 2.4 gigahertz processor. And so it's just amazing that powerful processing behind it compared to not even 10 years ago. We're very inexpensive and low power cost. Now, the second reason that I really love Bobcat, one, their manufacturing, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but two, their distribution has just been really clutch and on point compared to most of the other third-party miners that are out there. So on their website, if you click shipping right up here at the top, they really lay it out very, very clearly. So not only do, do they give you the dates of when orders are placed, but they also give you the order number at which each batch will be delivered. Now, we are in a global chip shortage, and so getting these units mass-produced is really, really difficult for companies like this, especially when the mass distribution really started during the pandemic when the chip shortage began. But as you can see, they have all the way up to batch 10, which means if you ordered it in April, that will be a part of batch 10. The other cool thing is if you head over to their Twitter, they do announcements for when new batches are coming out. Something else really important to note is this, Bobcat has been a big help 
to preventing scam sites from reeling in victims. And so as you can see here, they, they post on their page uh, specific websites that are not Bobcat. Really the only website that you will get Bobcats from is bobcatminer.com. That is the only one that's their official website. Any other website, anyone messaging you with any other website other than that is a scam or misinformed. Now, as far as shipping times go, Bobcat is one of the faster ones. If you order right now, their estimate is 12 to 20 weeks, which means three to five months of waiting for it. They have updated as well their payment system to being a USDC, which is a stable coin, which is really cool because it's nice to be able to pay in crypto for these things. So they did also add instructions on how to pay with Coinbase and Binance just recently, which makes this a very seamless process compared to what it was before. All of the info on how to buy that can be found on their website. They have an FAQ page, which just goes over everything in detail. They also do have a video on how to go through that payment process. So reason number three is the team behind this project. And as you can see here, the engineering team at Bobcat consists of seasoned industry veterans from tech, R&D, and manufacturing companies such as Ericsson, IBM, Foxconn, and so on. So let's talk about some of those companies because you might not recall what some of those are. Now, Foxconn is most known for making iPhones and other Apple devices, but it includes a long list of others as well. Uh, some of the customers include Sony, Dell, BlackBerry, etc. And of course, Ericsson, a lot of us have heard of Sony Ericsson. Ericsson was acquired by Sony in 2012. That's when they finished the acquisition. But of course, Ericsson was most known for uh, providing communication networks, telecom services, and multimedia solutions. One of the big players. And if you don't know who IBM is, you must have been sitting under a rock for the past 30 years. They are one of the largest computing companies in the world. Now their largest source of revenue is cloud and cognitive software. So the bottom line is the, the team with this, they're the ones, they, they have come from a huge background of creating iPhones, Xboxes, all of this computer and gaming hardware that has an intense manufacturing and distribution process. And so that's one of the reasons I believe that they're so on top of it when it comes to the distribution. Even though they're a brand new company and they started during a global pandemic with a chip shortage. It's nothing short of amazing on how on top of things they've actually been. Now, there are lots of hotspots to choose from, of course, but the bottom line is that the proof is really in the pudding when it comes to it. My Bobcat has outperformed all of my other miners. I do have OG hotspots, the Rack hotspot, and the Bobcat, as well as a, a DIY one that I built myself from a Rack developer gateway. It's an easy setup and it's higher performance compared to the other hotspots. With that being said, there are a couple downsides. Number one being that you haven't smashed the like button yet. So make sure you do that for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, that helps push this video further to a larger audience and that way more people can learn about the Helium hotspot and help them find which one is the best choice for them. Aside from that, it is very much like the OG hotspot from Helium. The problem is they don't have an outdoor hotspot. They did put out a disclaimer not to put it in high temperatures, but it would be like over 160 degrees Fahrenheit that it would have any trouble. I live down in Texas, it gets really, really hot here, and I haven't had a problem putting any of my hotspots outside in a weatherproof case yet. So the bottom line is, the Bobcat Miner, in my opinion, is the best company to be getting a helium hotspot from at this point in time. The big question is, do I plan on getting more? Now, with the new 5G hotspot from FreedomFi that's coming out, I do plan on holding off and seeing it, how many of those I can actually get. I do have a limited number of spaces that I can put them in. I already have like five hotspots. So for me, it doesn't make a ton of sense to be purchasing a whole lot more. If it was me, if I was new to the Helium network and I was just looking to buy one, Bobcat Miner 300, 
that would be the one. So that's what I got for y'all today. Like I said, if you haven't smashed the like button already, make sure you do that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that because I have tons more content coming out about crypto, tech, and investing platforms. Like I said, some really exciting videos coming out about the bill foddle and going through all of that. And I do have some opinion pieces coming out on the Helium Network that I think are really, really important for the community and for everyone to hear my point of view and perspective on it because I do feel like big things are coming for LoRaWAN, decentralized data networks, and crypto in general. So make sure you turn the notification bell on. That way you'll get notified anytime I come out with a new video. And with all that out of the way, Thank you for stopping by. I genuinely appreciate it. Watching to the end of the video, the comments, the likes, all of it, you all make it possible for me to do what I do. With all that out of the way, my name's Chris with Committed 3D Tech, and we'll catch you next time.